So what's good, everybody? Um, my bus is not too bad. I'm gonna show y'all right here. It's not that bad. All right. I keep the entry clean. Absolutely keep the entry clean. I don't like garbage falling out of the bus whenever I'm opening up the door. Y'all see the cockpit? Yeah, that's the captain's chair. I keep that area clean as well. All right. This body is made by Wolfington. All right. In Exton, PA. It's the IC Corporation. Yep, IC Corporation. And this actually takes DEF fluid. Yep, it takes the DEF fluid. And you can see all down the bus that no dents in it. Awesome running machine. Got the big boy tires on it. Yep, got the big boy tires on it. Um, now, what I'm gonna do is show y'all the size of these tires. All right. A lot of y'all say these aren't big tires. All right, these are your LRs, um, 22 and a half inch tires. So the LRs, right there, the LR, but these are 22 and a half inches, y'all. So when y'all riding around with them cars, y'all call donks, and you say, you got a big boy. Well, this is the big boy. And the same as with your tractor tra uh, tractor trailers and stuff. Now, right here, this is your um, the door release key. Right here, you can lock the door and it won't open up. So if I have it like this, you ain't getting in there. All right. So we're going to go on up in here. And I'm going to show you all what it's like. Now it is empty, very empty. And I actually had some new seat covers put on this thing right here. It was a seat cover put on here because last school year, the seats had cuts in them. Y'all wanna see something crazy? All right, so I'm gonna back up and then you have a cut right here already. Already got a cut in this seat. Y'all see that? Unacceptable. Now the floor, I don't mind cleaning the floor because that's what I do when it's dirty. All right, come back around here. And y'all see my floors aren't too bad. Um, just from my two schools that I did this morning, they didn't trash the bus. Now, when you do get trash, it's pretty much in the afternoon is when your bus gets trashed. So I'll let y'all see it from this view. All right, now what I'm gonna do is open up this emergency exit. So you gotta lift this handle up and then push the red bar out. Now, what is that? That is this right here. And I have a spare broom right there. You see that broom? That's cheesy. Um, but if you ain't got no broom, then you gotta do what you gotta do. I told y'all that's the um, child checkmate button. All right, and never block this emergency exit, which students do it all the time. So we're well, gonna lift this handle up, right? And then all you're gonna do is push the door out. See that? And then you just jump down. I'm not gonna jump out of there because uh, I'm up here. Why would I jump down and I'm all the way up here? But if I had to do an evacuation drill, um, this is what would happen students would sit down they wouldn't jump they would sit down then they would jump down and that first student will stand off to this side here and as each one sits down he will hold their hand and help them get down so we pretty much would pick the strongest um the biggest looking uh student and have him do the helping all right and then after that we're gonna get as far away from this bus as possible in case of an explosion or something or out of the way of traffic um depending on where you broke down at or what the situation was we are trained to evacuate a bus and get everybody to safety absolutely if you can't perform your job you can't do the job
all right, this ain't for you. And it wouldn't be for me if I couldn't perform uh, um, a safety evacuation drill. And that's why I always tell y'all, it is very important to stay in shape. Very important to stay in shape. I mean, jumping down here would be really hard on somebody, but you got to stay in shape. So in order to close this, you would have to push this back open and then it releases. So I'm going to show you what got to release. So when I open this up, so right now that's in locking position. This is the little lever here. So you ain't going to be able to close it. So I'm going to push back. Now I'm going to pull on it. See that? Close the handle down. Now it's ready. Now that's your emergency evacuation. And you can also go out these windows that are here on the side. And yeah, I showed y'all that before. They already started writing on here. There's one of the emergency hatches right here, the roof. See that? You right on out of here if it rolled over or we went into some water. All right. And we equip with cameras to protect the passengers and to protect us. One here. So you got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. That's that on that. Catch y'all on the next video.